How can prevent a stroke? Is it possible to detect an impending stroke in advance? And what risk factors for stroke depend on the individual? Today we'll answer these questions and talk about a useful test for identifying a pre-stroke condition. Why do strokes happen? The main cause of this dreaded disease is blood pressure fluctuations. If it rises sharply or, on the contrary, if the pressure falls, there can be a spasm of blood vessels, in which the brain stops receiving oxygen. As a result, the person loses speech, the ability to move limbs, and sometimes even chew and swallow. The degree of damage to the brain and nervous system in a stroke can be quite different. A person's ability to recover differs, as does the speed of recovery. But there is one general rule the sooner medical help is given for a stroke, the better the chances of a full recovery. It is believed that if a stroke victim is taken to a medical facility within an hour and given first aid, the risks of complications are relatively small. And in the case when this time interval is missed, the condition worsens sharply. In order to seek help in a timely manner, it is necessary to understand how to recognize a stroke. Test fast. American scientists have developed a simple test to determine impending stroke at home. If your relative or you feel ill, pay attention to the following signs. First, the symmetry of the face. If one side of the lip does not rise or the eyelid droops when you smile, this is a sign of facial muscle damage. Second, try raising your two hands at the same time and keeping them at the same level. If there is a problem with this, it also indicates a stroke. The third sign is slurred speech. And another is decreased sensitivity, where the person does not feel other people's touch as clearly. If these symptoms occur, you need to call an ambulance right away. These are indicators that a stroke either has already happened or is coming soon. However, there are signs that tell you in advance that trouble is coming. They appear not immediately before the stroke, but a week before it. First, it is violation of coordination of movements and motor skills. Things fall out of the hands, it becomes difficult to keep balance, and the sequence of the simplest actions is confused. The second sign is constant dizziness. And the third is a disturbance in the clarity of vision. That is, objects become dark, insufficiently clear, space trembles or floats. Risk factors. Doctors note that impaired blood flow as a result of the development of vascular atherosclerosis. The body can compensate by creating a system to bypass the blocked areas. But this is possible with the gradual development of the disease. However, even in this case, although stroke usually does not happen, there are problems of chronic damage to the cardiovascular system, which still increase the risk of heart attacks and strokes in the future. Factors in the development of such a state of the body are some diseases. The main ones are hypertension and diabetes mellitus. With the first ailment, pressure can lead to regular crises, and by itself, its strong fluctuations reduce the elasticity of blood vessels. It is especially dangerous if the pressure is uncontrolled, i.e. standard hypotensive medications do not work. Diabetes impairs metabolism, which results in poor absorption of not only glucose but also fat. Their deposition provokes narrowing of the vascular bed. This is followed by an increase in blood pressure, as well as reduced blood supply to internal organs, including the brain. Also, bad habits, unhealthy diet and excess weight increase the risk of stroke. All these factors are interrelated, because abuse of fatty and fried foods leads to the deposition of harmful cholesterol in the blood vessels, which inevitably leads to atherosclerosis. This disorder of cholesterol metabolism is the main cause of the disease, and overweight problems are a frequent companion of atherosclerosis sufferers. Among bad habits, alcohol abuse is especially noteworthy, since any alcoholic beverage first leads to a sharp dilation of blood vessels, and then to an equally sudden spasm. This worsens the overall condition of the vascular system and increases the risk of stroke. But since all these factors are a consequence of the actions and habits of the person himself, he can correct his way of life and avoid the terrible consequences for his health. And how do you protect yourself from the risk of stroke? 
Share useful tips in the comments.